Okay, I think all the cooling is figured out. So I pulled this hose with the T and that hose up to this from 2000 RMK. Normally that T would have been faced down. It would have had a little hose going down to heat exchanger. All I did was loosen the hoses, spun the T this way, and then I cut a correct diameter hose to fit. Boom, done. Yes, now we just gotta put all the clamps on it and still need to bolt down the motor itself. I put washers on all of them. I got nuts on the back, they're loose, but still need to tighten those up and that'll be done done. I went and got a longer oil line. So that's hooked up now to the oil pump. Went ahead and bled it out into a rag, make sure there's no air in the hose or nothing like that. So we are making some serious problem solving going on right now. And thank God I have part sleds. It's like this stuff, I would have been screwed if I didn't have. And that oil line, yeah, yeah. This is like one sled being built out of three right now to make this work. But uh, progress. Also went and grabbed, stuffed them out the handlebars. So we'll get that knocked out here pretty quick. Oh, you did grab that stuff. Yeah. Maybe Amber will do that if she ever warms up. She's freezing today. She's cold. Yeah. So she's just hanging out while I go ahead and get all this other crap knocked out. Finally got the fuel pump pulled. So I got to swap the fuel pump on. That'll work with the Mcuni racked carbs. And uh, yeah, we're getting there, boys. One step closer. I wasn't being lazy. I probably wouldn't get cold. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. We'll get back to you guys when we have a little bit more progress. Sweet. Motor mounts, all done, buttoned up. Two hoses, all on, clamped on. Amber got that knocked out. Tether's all done. Handlebars are on. They're uh, a little high, but <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It might still be a little too high though. It'll be okay though if I go back to a, more of a, a a flat bar rather than these freaking BMX or wherever the fuck bars these are. So I can always bring that down a little bit and worst case scenario I can cut the steering post, reinforce it, shorten it, and then weld it all up. But we're gonna try to get away without doing that because it feels pretty good to me. It might be a couple inches too high but like I was saying it might be all on the bars. Maybe I'll throw a set of IQR Pro X handlebars on this thing and it'll be much nicer. Much nicer. Um, I guess. On to the fuel system, I guess. Hell. What are you doing? Yeah, I turned it up because you're cold. I'm sitting here like sweating. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> you're hot now? Yeah. How hot is it in here? Huh? What's the temperature? 76. 76? Yeah, you can go ahead and turn that thing down. That heater will fucking roast this uh, garage out. But Amber was cold, so we got. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to be cold for long. I was not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get to the probably the fuel system on this next. One other thing we just noticed this is to our temp sensor. We're going to have to pull this and swap the one from the 440 into this head because that's only a single wire. Get that. Plugged into the main harness. Really? Yes. The Nightmare 440 <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> she doesn't even know why yet. I don't. So <laughs> we just got the temp sensor swapped out. That's all fine and dandy. And I was getting ready to throw my fuel pump on. Unfortunately, it uses a larger fuel line than what's on this. So, yeah. It's one of those things where I can just try to fight removing the fuel petcock or valve, whatever you wanna call it, and try to swap it on this one. But then I have, I don't know, that would give me the right feed to the fuel pump, but if I swap the whole bottle assembly to there, because they're virtually the same, then my feed, I, to the filter would be the wrong size or the fuel tank even so because 
this has smaller fuel lines than this. So I think if uh, we just split this all apart and we use the one block with the big line to the fuel pump and the small one to the fuel tank, we should be good. Okay, problem solved, I believe. So we have this fuel pump here, which has your fuel inlet, one out, which would be two rack carburetors and pulse line. And this is a small fitting. So this will work with this 800 with the smaller fuel lines. Hell yeah. Sweet. Fuel system done. Minus hooking up one hose to the fuel oh, yeah. pump and carbs. And I got to cut it short. But done the carbs are on the two oil lines are on to it fuel line to the carbs is on pulse line done feed from tank done the carbs clear the steering post done okay. getting closer uh we still have to run our cables and like i said could you stop sorry you're like running my foot over with the ski <laughs> quit playing with the handlebars <laughs> shit <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, pretty much done with the fuel system. Then we get to figure out electronics, get all that plugged in, air box, exhaust, secondary clutch, throw some coolant in this thing, start it. Yeah. Oh, we still have to put a hole in the belly pan for the exhaust. But yeah, I guess we'll just include that with the exhaust. So close. Yeah, so far. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to the point where it's just the, the little oh, nitty gritty okay. shit. And uh, yeah, progress. Okay, so this is how we cut a coolant hose the efficient way. <laughs> Just go like this and. Oh. Yeah. Done. So. Uh, sorry. So what we're doing right now is Amber flayed this. I cut it. This coolant hose is actually rubbing on the bracket here, so. We're gonna put this on this hose between it and that bracket. We're gonna zip tie this on. It's gonna give us a lot more protection there. That way it's not rubbing right into our coolant hose and giving us coolant leak and blowing up the motor. So, yeah. Right. Also, throttle cable hooked up. Oil pump hooked up and set rich. Fuel line hooked up. Pretty much at the point we just need to do electronics and exhaust and amber needs zip ties. And this thing will be ready to start. So I'm getting really excited. So clearly ditching Ducati ignitions was something Polaris was predicting to happen even from early on because this is the original bottles for 98 XR 40. Now these newer style motors with the newer style ignitions have a CDI mounted on this bottle. They already had provisions there to put the mount on it to mount the CDI. Interesting. Sweet, so we swapped out the SLP twin pipe manifolds for these PSI ones that we'd previously gotten bored and sandblasted. Fresh new gaskets. Got this set of twin pipes here. Unfortunately, one of them is pretty rusty right there. I'm gonna have to fix it, but not right this second. It will happen though. We'll get that sand blasted, put a little patch over it, and then TIG weld it on. But that's gonna happen at a later date because this is literally the last thing we need to do to try to start this thing. And I wanna fucking hear it. Yeah. 800 PSI twin pipes rumbling in a fucking nightmare 440 chassis <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah motherfucker so amber found a uh <laughs> acorn nut to hold the cdi on i mean technically it won't fall off but you know i can't find them there's no small nuts <laughs> yeah so i test fit the pipes they actually look like they're gonna fucking work this will need to be zip tied this way and this will also need to be pulled over some 
strictly for pipe clearance because the inside one hugs the motor pretty good. But they cleared the nose cone, which is kind of a miracle because my Larry Ruglin twin pipes for my 500 Liberty motor that I swapped in one of these 98 XCRs, my other one, not this one, uh, I had to cut all this nose bracing out because the pipes were so long out that way for the 500 that they would not fit a wedge. But they were never intended to. They were technically designed to fit a Gen 2, which has more room in the front, where these have this flat brace because of the nose cone. But those fit. I had my one bracket right here, just like this one was here. It was in the way, so I just went ahead and removed it rather than cutting it up. And now we have to cut up the tub to make a hole big enough for this to fit through. Yes, for the super leaky exhaust because it is rusted out at the flange on the pipe itself. <laughs> so we're going to have a pretty gnarly exhaust leak for the first start. Oh, yeah. But I just don't give a fuck. I want to hear this thing it's run. Okay. I want to hear perfect. this thing run. Yeah. After that, doing something stupid like putting a patch on the pipe ain't nothing. No, after that we're going to eat ribs. Oh. oh. I'm getting to work, guys. Pipes are in. You can see the rust real good there. I also have a spot right here I need to repair. No big deal though. No big deal. Let's uh boy that's really in there. The fuel is on. No way to Not for first start. Okay, full zip tie. We'll do it right the first time. So we're gonna throw some zip ties and get that stuff away from the pipe. It's not touching, but it is scary close. So we're gonna do that real quick and we will be ready for our first start. Yeah! All right. Yeah. Uh, what? Got everything done. You know what we forgot? Okay. Shit. First start comes up. <laughs> Alright. First start for real this time. <laughs> I gotta I gotta recoil rope now. Yeah. We do still need to trim the hood for the pipes, just like my 700. Uh, there's hood clearance issues. Oh, we're <sighs> back in. Yeah. Good to go. The fuel's on. This will give her some choke and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, this thing's gonna sound good. Oh, I never hooked up a coil. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. I just can't make this stuff up. We might have been at this for too long. <laughs> man, I've been rushing. I, see, there's two plugs here, and I can't decide which one. Goes that's pink. I don't like pink, so we're gonna go black and white. Mm. Whoa, mm. she had a little electrical charge saved up. Mm. Okay, <laughs> she should uh, okay. fire up this door. All right, 10 3. Uh huh, 10 3. Got this. This is the one. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. The only thing I have to shut this off is a tether, <laughs> which hopefully works. That's not him. <sighs> Damn it, maybe it's the pink one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that, just, that, that can just... Stay. Well, I don't want to start, try to move with that open and break everything. Good point, good point. There's no telling what it'll do. Um, you're not wrong. God, this thing's hard to pull over. <laughs> These early 800s are a bear. Go in. Good. 
in. All right. Don't worry about strapping, just get it inside. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is the one. This ain't it. We're pulling the spark plug. Yep. Boy. This shouldn't take that many pulls to start. Mm. Alright. Uh, no. So, we're in the dark. Right. Plug this, plug this one uh, in. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was right the first time. Okay. Whew. <laughs> it's hot here, so I cranked up the heat for Amber. And I've worked my ass off for like all day on this thing. Maybe we'll be primed up, ready to wreck now. Mm. But we have verified we have spark. Black and white are the correct ones for the coil. Okay. Told you I didn't like the pink wire. Yeah. <laughs> All right. problems right there works right yeah Okay, here we go. I primed the cylinders. Fuel's on, choke's on. It should pop off. Hopefully, <laughs> it'll pick up fuel on its own after that. bought those new billet pieces for I just need a rivet gun because I could replace this one and this one okay well but I'm determined you will run Break it. 
not satisfied. Yeah, no. I know we got fuel because I just put like five gallons in it. Yeah. Before we ran it. Fuel's fucking on. It's a crap blowing in the tank. <laughs> And again. Got this. <sighs> that recoil rope is just not happy. All right. Yep. I have to replace recoil guy, I'm going to break this rope and then I'm going to burn this thing. Uh. So, <laughs> we'll get back to try to start this thing after that guy is replaced. And yeah. I mean, right now, it just, it just, it just gets stuck and it's sharp right. edge. Not good. Let's, let's so. get food and then replace that. I was ready to call it night, but Amber wanted to keep going. So I went ahead, drove everything out. Got both the old guides out. Got these fancy blue billet ones riveted in place. And uh, so this one wasn't too bad, but it's not great. This one was destroyed and was catching my rope and eventually would have ripped it. That's all bad, but we will never have that issue again because it's billet, hopefully. It should last long in plastic. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get that ran back up. Um, gonna check my pickup tube in my fuel tank, make sure it's good. I did put five gallons in it, but fuck who knows if that broke, that could still be an issue. Sweet, so me and Amber just went, pigged out on some ribs. And uh, as you just see, we replaced the recoil guides. We just primed the motor again. I checked the pickup tube. Looks good. So, <laughs> good start and uh, hopefully stay running. Mm. Otherwise, this chassis is just cursed. Yep. We'll see what happens. It's like 9.30 and I'm giving myself until 10 to make noise. After that, I like to shut down. Be nice to the neighbors. So. Yeah. I don't know, like I we said. We got some pre-mix in it, <laughs> and it's working great for priming this I thing. I brought it out here because there's measurements on the side, and I was like, man, that could be useful one day, or even just for mixing oil. And lo and behold, it kind of was. <laughs> Works great. See that NASCAR spark plug removal? Super fast. Yeah, I was trying to race. It didn't work out. <laughs> I can't believe he hasn't picked up fuel yet. And it's like that for seal. Oh, I oh. lied. Now it's sealed. <laughs> oh, this sled. Maybe did check the fuel filter. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. The fuel filter. I don't know, I worked on this thing so much last year. It's hard to tell. To no avail. Yeah, watch, it's got a plugged up fuel filter. That was the issue the whole time for the Ford. <laughs> uh, that would be embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> I really doubt that. Uh, Turn the pet cock cap off, man, it run good, so. I just assume that you don't see the bad on the old burgers. Was doing the exact same thing at times. 
Yeah. Yeah. Once I got 40 running, it was too late. Yeah, true. Ugh. I mean, the valve is down. It's a little thicker thing that's on. I'll try it the other way then. So tell them what you did, babe. I hit the fuel pump off wrong. <laughs> From the fuel valve, I have plugged in where the car was supposed to be, and vice versa. Yep. I was in a rush. Yep. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> yes, I know there's arrows. Yeah. Shit happened. <laughs> but in the end, we have we now have uh, eight hundred. Mudslide. Uh, I still want to clean up the wiring mm. and get this mounted. This is kind of a, yeah. a rush to get this thing done for 10, and I'm pretty sure it's like 10.05. Yeah. <laughs> Which it's not like a, a law. I don't have to be quiet. Yeah, it's just neighborly. Right? Yeah. I got it. So 10 o'clock, you know. even on the weekend, yeah. I like to shut it down. But, uh, Especially this loud. Unless there's snow on the ground, you know? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to be honest, this is a lot louder than 700. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like, stupid. They probably can't tell. This is a lot louder. It's yeah. obnoxious and I love it. Yeah, like you hit the gas there for a second. I was like, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't ready for that either. It was like, uh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but man, we got a full Sick. 40, 800 mod. Ah. I need to trim up the hood a little bit so this clears a little better. Yeah. Which is no surprise. I had to do the same thing with 700. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she runs, boys. She's a runner. Yeah. Amber's gonna be jealous. It's so much cooler now. <laughs> what? All it takes is a eight hundred and twin pipes, and all yeah. of a sudden it's cool. Oh, it's better. You just wait till it's got a nice seat cover on it. Yeah, right. Foreshadowing. Yeah, Cause that thing is busted. 